So here's one really cool aspect about Google Apps Script is it can actually access the user interface. The most common way that we do this is in creating custom menus where you can actually nest several custom functions that have been created so that you don't have to go to the script editor to run those. You can run those straight from here. I'm actually going to use the same sheet and script from my last video about copying with protections just because we already have a good custom function created that's not a trigger like an on edit or a change or an open or something like that. Now we are actually going to make use of one of those triggers. In this case, the on open. So here's the script. It's really, really straightforward. So on open is another simple trigger keyword. So this tells Google to run this function whenever the spreadsheet gets opened by whoever opens it. All we need to do here is just call spreadsheet app dot get UI. So it gets the user interface. And then on the user interface, we're going to create a menu and we're going to give it a name. You can use single quotes or double quotes. Usually it's best practice to use single quotes for these kind of things and uh, normally reserve double quotes for strings. So single quote here, custom menu is just what we're gonna call the menu. So in a moment when this runs, right next to here, you're gonna see another one that says custom menu. Then the item we're gonna add is copy with protections. And that's what it's gonna look like. That's what it's gonna say on the menu. And here's where we put the function name itself. Let me actually just show you what that looks like up here. So it's caption or title and then the function name. And then really interesting thing to note here, the important thing to note here is that the function name also needs to be in quotes and without the parentheses. We're just calling the name. And then let me just show what that was as well, actually. So here, you can always do this. So we put the dot add item off to the side on the same line. Sometimes, depending on what's going on, it can be much more readable to put those into separate lines. And the dot, it's still going to extend this same function. The interface is smart enough and knows what to do with that. So this could be written like this. That's a lot less readable. This is one big line. So it's a lot nicer to leave that in these three lines where each line is doing something else. This line is creating the menu. This is adding the item. And this actually adds it to the UI instead of just leaving it on the screen. Let's save that and reload the page. It is going to drop down the zoom. I apologize for that. When we reload the page, And it does take a moment for the script to run. But then here we have the custom menu. Run the script. And it runs perfectly just like before. So let's pull up the script again. So again, really simple. Just get the UI. Create menu. Add item. And there's a lot more you can do with this. In the create menu, where you have add item. Add separator, which is just a horizontal bar if you're separating several different sections. Add sub menu so that you can have an arrow off to the side and several functions under that in case you wanted to lock a cell, lock a row, lock a column. You could have one uh, menu that just said lock. And then under that, you could have add item, lock cell, another one. row, etc. So there's a lot you can do with that menu to really make it look like you want it to look. But as it's the most basic form, it creates a menu up here with the file, edit, view, creates another menu up there. It will always be on this right side. You can't put something in uh, between these. It's always going to be to the right of the help. But you can create the custom menu. You can create multiple custom menus. And then you can put the functions, you can put submenus, you can do whatever you want. Remember, the important thing here is that the function name needs to be a string and needs to be without the parentheses. You're calling just the name of the function itself. 
and it should work perfectly for you.